More people of color are attending colleges and institutions of higher education than ever before, but the graduation rate for black and Hispanic men is far behind the general public. Yeah, tonight our in-depth reporter Anthony Hill is uncovering what is now being done here in the Bay Area to increase the graduation rate for those demographics. My name is Steve Emil, S-T-E-V-E-E-M-I-L-E. -E -E. I was born in rural Port Prince, Haiti. Steve Emil is pursuing a college degree at Hillsborough Community College. I'm studying computer science as of right now. I may change it to computer engineering, but computer science it is. Although more people of color, like Steve, are pursuing higher education, African American, Hispanic, and Native American men have some of the lowest college graduation rates. According to the National Center for Education Statistics, only 36% of black male students completed a bachelor's degree within six years, and 52% of Latino males completed theirs within the same time. White males graduated at a rate of 63% in six years. Some of the challenges many men of color face contribute to that lower rate, things such as being a first-generation college student, needing to work full-time, or not having the income or savings to afford tuition. Hillsborough Community College is working to increase the graduation rate of African-American and Latino men through a program called Hope Scholars. The Hope Scholars program is a minority male program that has a lot of support, uh, support services built around it to help men of color be successful. Dr. Ken Atwater is the president of HCC, and he says 60 men participate in the program every year. The scholars receive stipends every semester study and learn together as a cohort and are assigned faculty mentors who help them navigate through the college experience. And if you have peers or faculty or staff that are serving that capacity, that navigation is easier. He says the Hope Scholars graduate at a rate of 85 percent. It's vital because a lot of these uh, these young men come from a background where they're like they're a first generation college student and they're not exactly prepared for what lies ahead. Getulio Gonzalez Militieri is in the Hope Scholars program. He's studying philosophy and sociology, and he's the first in his Brazilian American family to attend college. And I feel like the, the whole program creates a situation where it makes that easier for, for students, especially black and brown students, to um, succeed and thrive here in, in a college and academic environment. Both Steve and Getulio attended the Black, Brown, and College Bound Summit. It's a yearly event that takes place in the Tampa Convention Center. The event attracts influential speakers to inspire and encourage black and brown men to further their education. The keynote speaker for the 2022 summit, NFL Hall of Famer, Emmett Smith. Black and brown men, um, it's not easy being an African-American in this country and having, I mean, people always say you get a fair shot. Well, what is fair? Fair is relative. The point that I did hit and touch on was having a vision for where you want to be and what you want to do. And, and that can go as far as what type of lifestyle you actually want to have uh, and want to enjoy. Then develop a plan towards that vision. Meanwhile, in Washington, there's a bill making its way around the House of Representatives. It's called the College for All Act. It was introduced by Senator Bernie Sanders and Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal. If passed, it would make community college and public universities free for families making less than $125,000 a year. I asked former presidential candidate and HUD secretary Julian Castro about the impact a bill like this could have on black and Latino students. I think that uh, a higher education these days, in some form, community college, university, sometimes certification, is a necessity, not a luxury. And so that we need to treat it like we've treated K through 12. And we need to make public universities uh, and community colleges free, uh, at least to the mass majority of families out there. As for Steve, he plans on continuing his education at the University of South Florida, making his family back in Haiti proud. Getulio is aiming for Princeton University, where he wants to study public and international affairs before heading to Columbia University Law School. Just believe in yourself is my message to anyone who's trying to, who even thinks about going to college. You know, it, it's definitely a challenge in the beginning, but once you get acclimated to it, 
you know, the world is yours, the sky's the limit. For more information on the Hope Scholars Program at Hillsborough Community College, just head over to our website, abcactionnews.com. I've posted a link there with more information. In Tampa, I'm in-depth reporter Anthony Hill, ABC Action News.